On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, two hardware remotes that work with ProPresenter 5 and ProPresenter 6. Welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com Screencast Show. This is the show where every week I show you how to use software that we use here in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host, and I'd love for you to ask your question. So if there's anything that you're curious about, just leave your question below the video. That's perfectly cool. If uh, you'd prefer, you can always head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact and you can leave your question or comment there as well. So occasionally I get this question where people say, you know, the pastor doesn't want to use the iPhone remote, uh, doesn't want to use the Android version, which is new for ProPresenter 6, um, doesn't want to use an iPad, just wants to use a regular little presentation remote. Do you know of any that work? So I've been doing some freelance work and as part of that, at this hotel where I'm freelancing, they have several presentation remotes. They're basically two brands, so I thought, well, I'm going to test these out and see if they work in ProPresenter 5 and 6. So the good news is they do. Uh, ProPresenter sees them as keyboards, so they can do a couple of interesting things. But I thought that we'd head over to my computer where I'm not going to look at ProPresenter because I've already tested them and there wouldn't be anything to see other than, oh, look, it shows the next slide. Cool. Um, but instead, let's head over and I'll show you which video, which uh, hardware remotes those are. Okay, so here we are in my browser and you'll notice that the first one we have on deck is a Logitech. This is the Logitech Wireless Presenter R400. And by the way, I'm going to put the links down below the video, so just uh, scroll down there and uh, click on those, and that'll take you over here. It's an affiliate link, so keep that in mind, but it doesn't cost you any extra, and it helps pay the, biz, uh, the uh, bills here. So you'll see that while I didn't test the wireless range, it says it's about a 50 foot wireless range. I would test it in your circumstance because you might have less or greater, depending on a couple of things. 2.4 gigahertz, that tells me if you've got microwave ovens in the area, if you've got a lot of Wi-Fi, it could be that you'll have a problem, but keep that in mind. So right down here that's where you pull out the little dongle that you actually plug into the computer so it looks like a usb thumb drive but you do that over here that's the on off switch uh, it has a battery indicator just a good little remote feels good in the hand uh, and i might pick up one of these either the logitech wireless presenter r400 or the Targus one that I also tested, the AMP16US52. Now, these are not the $5 things, they're about $34 each, but they both worked in this circumstance. They both have lasers. Here's a little laser pointer. This is the uh, dongle on this. This is actually stores um, right there. So you take off the back on this one and store it in there. One AA battery. The other one also uses one AA battery. Um, also a good remote. Uh, let's see if this says anything about the wireless standard it uses. If it's also 2.4 megahertz. This says it's 30 foot range. So it could be that that's a little bit better. Uh, the other one's a little bit better for you, I don't know. But I did test both of these, and you can go forward and back uh, with your slides. So, previous, next, 
um, but really not a lot of other abilities but I think what I would recommend for you is still have an operator by the computer even if you have the pastor just in case the pastor gets lost or whatever you can go to the appropriate one so I hope that you'll consider picking up one of these two and right now I'm leaning towards this guy just because it claims to have a longer uh, range but other than that I think they're both good remotes and they both worked in my testing. Well I hope that helped you. I hope that you now realize that there are some remotes that are alternatives to what you may have been using and they might really help you out. Now I do want to say one thing that I did not test. I did not test range. You need to know that these are used in large ballrooms at this uh, hotel where I do some freelance work so I expect that in most small to medium sized church buildings not a problem at all but if you're in a larger church my church uh, we used to run about 3500 on a weekend so this probably would not have worked in our circumstance because the computers are actually under one of the side banks uh, where there's concrete and steel and stuff and I just don't think it would have worked. So that would have been an exception to the rule. But if you're in a smaller room where you've got line of sight, I think they'll probably work. And it could be that you'll even be able to uh, take the receiver and put that on a USB extension and put it up where it's a little bit closer and that might help as well. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my email newsletter. So by all means, head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S. There you can pick up a copy of my email newsletter. As, as an additional gift, I'll give you one of those church tech gifts that I have on that page. So make sure that you sign up there where you'll find even more tips and tricks, stuff that I don't share on these videos and some of the great things that are coming up here at trinitydigitalmedia.com. You also ought to head over to my store, which is located at trinitydigitalmedia.com store. There, you can find all sorts of cool stuff, including a product I'm releasing here in the next few days, which is a guide on how to build your own teleprompter. I know that money's an issue for churches, so I have a really inexpensive guide on how to do this and software. It's, it's not the best stuff ever, but it will absolutely work for your church, and it's what I use when I'm doing a video with a teleprompter, something that I cooked up that I think you'll find very useful, and every time I improve it for me, it'll improve it for you, so that's really cool as well. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.